welcome to my Instagrammer's Guide to London. Today I'm going to be taking you around some of my favourite photogenic spots in the city, from cafes to galleries to flower stores. I'm going to also write a corresponding blog post on fashionmumbler.com with even more tips for visiting the city, so I'll leave a link to that down in the description box below. You'll also find links to what I'm wearing because for every place that we visit I'm also going to share with you one of my favourite outfits of the moment. So without further ado, let's get going! So the best place to start your Instagrammable day is here at Farm Girl Cafe. Make sure to grab one of the rose petal lattes and try and get here early to get one of the very Instagrammable pink tables. It's a favourite amongst us lifestyle bloggers who will queue up from the early hours just to get that all important photo. After your healthy breakfast at Farm Girl Cafe, it's only a five minute walk down the road to beautiful Westbourne Grove, where you'll find Nikki Tibble's Wild at Heart. This is by far the most Instagrammed flower store in London, and it's no surprise why. Look how beautiful this place is. <laughs> is about a mile away so we've hopped into a black cab to get ourselves there. I find black cabs are the easiest way to get around London but you can always use apps such as City Mapper to find out the best way of getting there. Sometimes no matter how prepared you are you always have to deal with some building work. This is London after all. 14 Trevor Square is one of the most beautiful and photographed houses in London but never mind let's head on to the next location. but very photogenic walk from 14 Trevor Square is the infamous King's Road which is where we're heading for our next photo spot. On your way make sure to go via Harrods for those all important London touristy photos. We have made it to Chelsea and just behind the Duke of York Square is the Saatchi Gallery. If you've been on my blog or YouTube channel before you may recognise these columns because I like to take a lot of my outfit photos here. It's a perfect place to get that all important outfit shot via Instagram. A short journey away from Chelsea is Peggy Portion and it's another very Instagrammable cafe and bakery complete with the most beautiful cupcakes in the whole of London. The staff here are also really really friendly and very accommodating for those of us who just want to nail that perfect photo.
we've reached our final destination, which is Somerset House. You're technically not allowed to take photos inside the house, but I just love coming here, taking a few sneaky photos outside, and also visiting Spring Restaurant. It's one of the most photogenic restaurants in the whole of London. Beautiful pink sofas, beautiful bright interiors, and you have to visit the bathroom. It is absolutely gorgeous. Instagram guide to London. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. There are so many more places I would love to show you so give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see part two of this video and let me know your favourite Instagram places in London down in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!